Hey everybody, my name's Hassan. Hey everybody, about to do a quick unboxing for you guys. So let's do this. Got this freaking chair that I've been waiting to unpack. And uh, let's see, however you pronounce that brand. And uh, let's see. So it weighs 16 pounds, and here's the box itself. Yada, yada. Oh yeah, it's basically just a freaking, whatchamacallit, drum drum. get this because because I just bought this and uh yeah the freaking can't really can't really drum on a computer chair because uh basically just need stability and so on and it's way better to use a drum than a computer chair you can get away with using a computer chair but Drone's way better, and I recently fell off my bike, my dirt, I mean my road bike, and uh, I feel like I injured my hips, so I feel like this is really going to help, because that, because that Staples computer desk chair ain't cutting it. And on top of that, normally I'd be able to open this a lot faster. You can tell before I start swimming bullets. Oh. All right. All right. Yeah, these little staples don't really freaking don't really help too much. But uh, it's definitely packaged pretty well. 16 pounds. I got it from music musician's friend. And it was like a hundred, hundred something dollars. Brand new. And uh, I know this is gonna be. There we go. Ugly, right? <laughs> oh well. Oh well, who cares? Who cares? All right. Ah. All right. Now that I got rid of these two important freaking pieces, gosh, you could like stab yourself accidentally. <laughs> so 
start bleeding yourself everywhere, no thanks. I can't afford to bleed anymore. I can tell what this is. Let's open it up. And, uh, actually, Dang, this has some weight to it. See, I regret not, I regret not doing an unboxing with my other things that I bought. Look at that. Got some weight to it though, that's for sure. Looks like a freaking giant ass meatball sub, right? <laughs> Looks like a giant ass meatball sub. I swear. <laughs> Anyways. See, this is why you gotta get things new, right? I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, but like that. Yeah, you know, we all know. Nice and shiny, right? Ooh, look at that shine. Let me construct it now or build it. It's really easy to build. Oh, you don't need directions either, too. Just still wanna zoom in, show everything, right? Close-ups on everything, right? Because the little details matter, right? all over it, but sure. It's... I would hold it from here. Just gonna drop it on your foot. Nice. It's got the branding here on both sides. top piece. Check this out. Let's see if I can shine some more light on it. Well, that's it right there. <laughs> well, let's, I'm going to put it together now. this too. It's like a bag or something. Oh cool. Got a little thingamabobber here. Let's see. Comes with this. Cool. 
hang that anywhere. Cool. Let's see how cost that. Put that away. And uh, comes with this bag. Cool, another sticker. Let's open this bag up. Let's see. Actually, can we put this that away? Let's see what this is. <laughs> see what type of sticker this is sometimes you know people just buy everything just for the one sticker you know all right okay pretty cool I wonder what size it is you know what I know we all like details let's bust out a measuring tape real quick <laughs> or I'll compare it to something a CD or Check this out, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, let's see, bam, we all know what a regular old PS3 game thing, alright, I guess I gotta bust out a measuring tape, <laughs> well, that's good enough, <sighs> I don't got that much time, anyways, here's the, uh, Setup instructions, 9608 series drum thrones. Open the tripod base, then sit it up right. Place the seat top onto the threaded post. Evenly tighten the seat bracket clamp down. Evenly tighten the seat bracket clamp around the threaded post. Rotate the seat top to turn the threaded shaft and adjust to your desired height. Slide the memory lock on the threaded shaft down towards the base collar and into the slot on the collar. Tighten the memory lock to secure height positioning. Bullet G. Tighten the base collar clamp wing nut and hex nut evenly. Letter H. As an option, slightly loosen the, the seat bracket to allow for some seat rotation while playing. Let's see. Backrest assembly instructions. Letter A, to attach the back support arm onto the seat bracket first, remove the GP0117 from the arm. B, letter B, slide the arm into the cushion seat plate, opening with the small curved plate resting on top of the slotted support arm area. Letter C, position this curved plate onto the support arm so that the threaded hole can align with the threaded plastic knob and tighten to secure the seat plate and support arm. Adjust the desired depth and tighten knob. That's letter D. Letter E, to attach the backrest cushion onto the back support arm, place the C-shaped collar over the slotted area of the support arm and align it to thread into the backrest cushion yada 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 last thing letter f adjust cushion height and tighten knob all right so my i just want to see this logo <laughs> look at that look at that branding <laughs> 96 away series drum thrones gib gibra gibberal tar i i've always had trouble pronouncing this brand name but i know this is I know it's a good product. There's their website. Gibraltar. Gib, Gibra. Gibraltar. <laughs> Gibraltar. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, their website's www.gibraltarhardware.com, which is spelled www.gibraltarhar. D W A R E dot com. And there's a picture of it. Figure one. Figure two. Figure three. Wait. Oh, yeah. 
the base assembly, threaded figure twos, threaded base collar clamp, figure three solid seat mount designs, figure four optional backrest assembly. Hmm, <laughs> that looks interesting because I can't, <clears throat> I'd like a backrest, but it seems like it'll just get in the way and kind of throw me off when I'm trying to And that's figure four. Let's see. <laughs> Replacement part numbers. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. I see. Anyways, nothing on the back. Just that one thing. Put that away. this now, if we can put this together now, i box this, let's see what's in here, I'm going to go with the scissors, because if you just use a razor just like this, you're going to cut yourself, I know, I'm an idiot sometimes, but hey, you live and you learn, right, anyways, here's, the, here's this, pretty light, Hold it with one hand. And uh, let's see. This is so cool. I swear. Like, you don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, let's open this bad boy up because I feel like it's going to help me playing. See, you can just use scissors and uh, cut that away. Away from yourself. Cut away from yourself, right? As everybody says, cut away from yourself. Don't even take the chance of cutting towards yourself. <laughs> I know. Shoot, even if I'm just reminding people, uh, I'd be glad to just save somebody from accidentally stabbing themselves because nothing else in the box. Empty. Toss that right there. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. All right. I'm gonna keep this as clean as possible love getting things brand new if you all like getting things brand new or depending on what it is that's awesome too anyways check that out i don't even want to take the bag off <laughs> you guys seen in key and peel just reminded myself of that key and peel episode stitching let's see what does this say <clears throat> I know the lighting in my room sucks but whatever got a flashlight I have two flashlights one of them like the better one stopped working for some reason I'm just gonna take the bag off just like that let's see let's see let's see Let's see, I know pro drummers are probably more concerned about, well, I'm going to take the bag off, screw it, guess if I wore, wore vinyl gloves or something that could prevent fingerprints and oils from getting onto it, but dude, this thing will last forever, as long as you take care of it. We all know that. Yeah, and I know the background isn't the greatest, but whatever. Whoa. And I'm starving right now. Maybe I should just zoom out. All right. Well, here.
here it is. It's like 130 bucks. I think they described it like, let me grab my flashlight so I could get some better lighting. Let's see, it was called, I got it up right here. Do, 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 do. Give a chart, 9600 series round vinyl drum throne, 139.99 plus tax. That's pretty expensive, right? I don't know about you, but to me, that's freaking expensive because I had a drum throne before and I ended up moving and stuff and freaking now I learned my lesson to just hold on to everything. Don't even throw anything away, right? Like, like American pickers. Just be a hoarder. Just trying to shine on. I like that branding. Anyways, here it is with the screws right there. Well, you can only do the date. Let me zoom in on that. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Let me read that real quick. California 93120 compliant for formaldehyde. So compliant for formaldehyde. Anyways, got this. Yada, yada, yada. Hmm. Man, I don't really feel like putting this together right now, but I'm gonna. Because what I'm going to do just keep holding it. <clears throat> Let me just wipe off the sweat off my forehead. It's freaking kind of warm in here. All right. Toss that right there. I want my battery run out. All right. How hard could this be? Where are those directions? <laughs> I can't just put it on, just like, hold on, just, just, it's just, it's just, why do we need all those directions? Why do we need all those directions, right? Actually, there weren't even that many directions. <laughs> all right. Oh, snap. Tiny drum set, huh? Where it's all cramped. The the uh, Alessis or Alessis Nitro drum module. Thing's pretty cool though. That's for sure. Okay. You can always uh oh, I don't wanna break this thing, man. That's good enough for me. I'll I'll adjust it and stuff later, but there it is. <laughs> All right, I can hold it with one hand, actually. Check that out. Do, 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 do. Wish I could compare it to, to another one, but this is the only one I've got. So. Well, here it is. Oh, cool, got another little sticker right here. Cool. Cool. Yeah, pretty basic. But how many bells and whistles does one really need? <laughs> All right. Let's just see if it works.
comfortable too. I feel like I feel like it's gonna get more comfortable. It's kind of sinking in a little bit. I mean, I wasn't sinking in. I'm just used to my old my old chair. But uh, so you know what? If I could just easily turn around and stuff. I don't want to turn around too much right now though, because I'm not too familiar with it. You know, the bearings and stuff or whatever kind of technology they put into it. I don't need to. So, uh, <laughs> that's my freaking, that's my freaking, that's my freaking, that's my freaking unboxing for, for the, what's it called again? <laughs> 9600 series round vinyl drum throne, $139.99 plus tax at Musician's Friend. Dot com, that is. Peace out.